Hi everybody, I'm April Brooker and welcome to this episode of The Homemade Sketch Show. I know you're looking at me. I'm April Brooker of AprilBrooker.tv. You're expecting something profound. Well guys, I want to let you in on a secret. I'm not looking for Mr. Right. I'm just desperately seeking Mr. Okay. What's up? I'll let you go out, mate. Get back here. I will give you to the count of three. One. Like me. Two. I'm a star. Three. May Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, girl, quick question. Why are you looking for some random guy in Oklahoma? May, when I said Mr. Okay, I meant like Mr. All Right, you know, like my ex fiance, the one that everybody liked. They said the same thing about Jeffrey Donger, but he had a hot body in his refrigerator. You know what, May? You can go to hell. Sorry, eh, girl. Wouldn't want to sit in your audience. You know what? You're just jealous that I have the better love life. Oh, yeah? Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Your older brother doesn't count. For your information, I am seeing two men on Zoom right now. That's right, May. Two men. Really? Let me guess. Glenn and Jerry. No, no, I got it. I got it. Dave and Gloucester. Your last boyfriend had Made in China written on his butt. Oh, for your information, Chucky had a really successful movie career, okay? Well, my last boyfriend was on TV too. Oh, you mean live PD? And just like the show, he's canceled. They're just rough on the guys that I date because they have tattoos. Like the L in the lower forehead? May, the guys that I date aren't losers. No, they're just from Sheboygan. What do you have against the people from Sheboygan? You know, we might have people watching from Sheboygan. Nothing. It's just a hard word for ventriloquist to say. Sheboygan, Sheboygan, Sheboygan. In all seriousness, do you have anything nice to say about me? Yeah, girl. I'm so glad that you stopped drinking. Thank you. That was a really hard thing for me to do. I got sick and tired of you slurring my words. But in all seriousness, you know, you're kind of a celebrity host. You've been on a lot of things, right? Yeah, I've been on What Would You Do, My Strange Addiction, Entertainment Tonight, Telemundo, Dutch National Television, and a lot of cocaine. And you know what else I'm on? What? The Homemade Sketch Show! Which leads me to something, April. What? We should get to tonight's episode of The Homemade Sketch Show! Hello, my fellow um, co-workers and colleagues. Um, I present to you here on Zoom from Harlem. <laughs> um, I mean, from Brooklyn, sorry. Whoa, silly me, <laughs> I forget where I live. I, I mean, I present to you from pretty much every major city in the country right now. And uh, I just, I just want to ask a question real fast. Before. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that's tired? Um, am I don't? Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all are y'all are getting sleep. So it's just where I live. Okay. Um. Cool. 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 <laughs> uh, y'all been sleeping. Okay. Well, this is a little preface to my presentation. <clears throat> I just want to read. Fizzing, whirling, into the sky, rockets flying ever so high waiting and watching out late at night really loud bangs keep giving me a fright why all these goddamn fireworks every goddamn night <laughs> y'all don't have to apply it. it's cool um that poem is entitled fireworks at 1 a.m so i mean you know it's pretty self-explanatory that's my preface and now I'm gonna um, move on 
to my visual aids, um, you may notice that the capital gains continue to fluctuate on up and down and up and down until they reach an explosive end that's analogous to a firework. Boom. Bow. Um, and then this is a clear representation of the fluctuations that will continue to happen. Um, so, you know, draw your own conclusions about this. I think the visual aids will suffice. There's no need to screen share. Steve, why are you looking like that? Yeah, I'm not screen sharing, okay? The only way I've been able to get a little bit of sleep recently is through internet assistance, if you get my drift. And so I'm not sharing my screen. Um, however, <laughs> I know that y'all always love when Casey adds some music to her presentations. So I decided to um, do a little music myself. Here is a little song about how the benefit packages will shift next quarter based on market fluctuation. <clears throat> Baby, cause of fireworks, I couldn't do none of my work. Try to sleep, but oh, 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 another pyrotechnic show, show, show. Boom, boom, boom. I'm so sick of fucking Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. I wanna be in my damn room, room, room without you and you and you and you and you and you too, Steve. Like, Steve, you know, you be looking at me sometimes, even in the office, when we're in the offices and it will really. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Don't nobody wanna work. Just let the economy hurt. It wasn't built for me at all, at all. Let capitalism and white supremacy fall and fall and fall. Oh, I don't think I like this job, 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 or it's a fireworky fog, fog, fog. I wrote about it in my angry black man blog, blog, black. Maybe I should just log off, off, off. Uh, um, somebody explain these fireworks. Somebody explain the fireworks. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Um. I think I'm just going to log off now, but I appreciate y'all's patience with me. And, you know, if I never see any of you again, I'd probably be all right. But um, maybe that's the fireworks talk. <laughs> Finally done cleaning. Hello, my name is Officer D'Angelo. License and registration, please. My gun is registered and I have a license to carry. Second Amendment, thank you very much. Ma'am, I am very well versed on the Constitution. Thank you very much. I mean your driver's license. Next question. Excuse me, ma'am. I asked the questions around here. What is your name? My name is Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You might remember me from when I worked for Mr. Trump. Well, Sarah, do you know why I pulled you over? No, I do not. It's because your tail light is out. That is a bold accusation. Uh, yeah, it is. Next question. Excuse me, ma'am? Do you realize that it's against the law to disobey an officer? Do you realize that my old boss is President Trump? Well, he's not here right now. Next question, please. 
Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to step outside of the vehicle. Are you part of the press? Step outside of the car, ma'am. Who let you in here? We're outside. This is a private gathering? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Who are you gathering with? Dr. Fauci said the pandemic is over. That is not true. It is a liberal hoax. Do you know who my old boss is? You keep telling me. Well, giving you the best information I have at the time. I speak for myself and President Trump. Well, sorry, ma'am, but you don't work for President Trump anymore. Well, officer, I am speaking for myself. That is the name of my new book. I am speaking for myself, so that is what I am doing. Speaking for me. Listen, ma'am, this doesn't need to be complicated. I just stopped you because your taillight was out. We could have been done with this already. I speak for myself and President Trump. Ma'am, Look, I don't know who I am anymore. I don't have my job. I don't have Donald. My father isn't even speaking to me, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do right now. So if we could just, you know, woman, a woman, if you could just let me go, please. I got my period. I got my period and it hurts. It hurts, it hurts real bad. And and I'm recording you. Ma'am! Ah! I don't have time for this. I'm going to let you off with a warning. Just fix your damn taillight. Ah, politics. Thank you, officer. Secret Service? I'd like to report an officer, D'Angelo. Oh my god, Melissa! I miss your face so much! Um, okay, so I was thinking that I would pick up one of those taco kits. You know, the ones with the homemade, pre-made margarita pitchers from Tri- I'm gonna have to put a pin in that social distance drink. I mean, I saw your Insta story. You went to a gathering in WeHo. Like, who does that? No, I just- I just can't with you. I mean, really, seriously? It's like- Social responsibility. I mean, it, it was Matt's birthday and it's pride and it, it wasn't a party. It was just like him and his boyfriend and his boyfriend's brother. That's it. Jenny, stop. It was, I mean, yeah, we, I water my neighbor's plants. We wore masks the whole time. Most, most of the time we wore masks. He's really old. Take that in. Like, seriously, take that in. Um, okay, well, shit, I guess I'll- I'm sorry, I just- Check in and like- I gotta go. Do we? Your dad and I saw your post on their Instagram account. You at that party? We don't feel comfortable doing our weekly Zoom for the time being. We're disappointed too, trust me. It's just sad. I mean, we didn't raise you to be, well, quite frankly, a jerk. Mom, you're joking. You can't get COVID through the computer. It won't transmit over Zoom. Also, I was just with my BFF Matt and his BF and his BF's brother. Where's dad? I want to talk right now. Your father's going to walk the dog. I mean, he has hip problems as it is. Oh, God. Here he comes. He wants to say goodbye. Hey, pumpkin. I just wanted to say a final goodbye. Please know that I will always love you. Oh, God. Oh, hey, Marcy. Have you seen Hampton? I've been trying to feed him. I swear that cat's like Houdini. Hampton is hiding from you in my room. He'll be quarantining in there for the foreseeable future. He was on your lap when you posted that Instagram story. Animals know Jenny. They have a sixth sense for dangerous environments. I labeled my things in certain cabinets. Please have some self-respect and keep out.
folks, please welcome tonight's musical guest, Mateus. You say that you want me, yeah, I was your only, but I caught you in a lie. Can you tell me why? Si tu eras mi luz, gave you the sun and the moon, but you left me all alone. Why you gotta be so cold? Why'd you have to go and break my heart? Now I'm here falling apart, y me estoy volviendo muy loco, porque no tengo tu amor. Should've known it from the start. Now I know just who you are, y no quiero nada contigo. Prefiero estar solo, oh, solo, oh, solo. Me engañaste y ahora es muy tarde. Ya tengo un nuevo amor que me llena de calor. Yo sé que tú querías hacerme daño y estas cosas están en el pasado. Yo no voy a llorar por que yo sé que te perdí All I wanted was to fall in love And hold you in my arms But I guess you wrote a different story What you had to go and break my heart Now me falling apart Y me estoy volviendo muy loco Porque no tengo tu amor Should've known it from the start Now I know just who you are Y no quiero nada contigo Prefiero estar solo, oh, solo, oh, solo. Yo voy a vivir la vida mía. Yo voy a vivir la vida mía. Yo voy a vivir la vida mía. El juego y el amor no se con. What you had to go and break my heart Now I know just who you are Que no quiero nada contigo Prefiero estar solo Oh, solo Oh, solo Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, solo Yeah, solo yo Oh, prefiero estar solo When I first went into quarantine, it was honestly out of laziness. Um, and you know, a lot of people didn't think I could do it. They, uh, my parents, my, my girlfriend, you know, my brother and my sister, they just didn't think I had it in me, but they were all wrong because I grew a beard. I almost feel like I have these special powers now. <laughs> I know that I know that sounds weird, yeah. But um, yeah, like for example, I can walk by um, a grocery store, and I can know if they have IPA or not. Like I just throw my beard back, and it'll point me away if it doesn't, and it'll point me towards it if it does and it's actually getting so honed that i can tell if it does have ipa i can tell if the ipa is local or not is that i'm i'm actually drawn to wood more um and I, I can go up to like just any type of wood and i can just knock on it and by the sound of it i can tell what kind of wood it is like for example that's oak 100 percent, that's oak you know and i'll go up to another type of wood and i'll be like that's not oak. That's not oak. On on the internet, I, I read that guys who have had beards for long enough can close their eyes, knock on a piece of wood, um, place that wood within 50 miles of where the tree was grown. They can tell you which way the grain is going, and they can also tell you what type of wood it is. I mean, I, I aspire to that. I mean, I just think that's amazing. I think I, I'm getting there. I think I practice whenever I'm around wood.
The other power that I've really started taking on is giving my opinion when no one asks for it. Like I'll go to Home Depot and just stand outside and see like a guy who's probably going to build a deck and I'll just kind of follow him around and be like, no, nah, you don't want that wood. That's not, that's not the type of wood. Or, you know, what kind of hammers are you using? Stuff like that. You know, I don't know a lot about building decks, but my beard makes me think I do. Yeah, yeah, it has really been changing, like, my demeanor and things. Like, I'll go into a, um, a room and I'll be like, who left this light on? You know, and I'll, I'll turn it off. Or, like, you know, like, wh why does all this music nowadays have to be so loud? You know, it's so loud. And, um, you know, naps. I'm doing a lot of naps. It actually kind of reminds me of, um, reminds me of my, my father, because he, he has a beard, and uh, he just naps. He loves his nap. Um, and he would always, you know, go into a room and be like, who left his light on? And um, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not a beard guy. Maybe I'm just becoming my father. Shit. I bought this cabin because I thought it was a beard guy. I mean, yeah, the flannel shirt came with it, but I, I don't think that's a good investment. Bring in inmate 074863, who is participating in our Scared Straight program. Uh, this isn't a mugshot. Oh, oh. Yeah, stand, stand there. Oh, oh, okay. Where are the kids at, though? Remember COVID-19? Oh, so you're okay, 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 okay. Stop for a second. So your your, your eyes, you, you need to look into the camera. You're, you get, yep, that right there, yep. Okay. Good. Okay. This ain't a game. You think you talk? Oh, you think you talk? too close, too close. Huh? You need to back up. You're too close to the camera. Okay. A little bit yeah. more. Okay. Okay. Right, I need to see your whole face. face. Yeah. You don't listen to your mother, Tiffany? But let me tell you, in here, I'm your mother. If I tell you to eat, you eat. If I tell you to go to bed, you better go night night. And if I tell you and me yeah. You right, you right. Scratch that. But if I tell you to do something, you gon' do it. They call me term because I turn that ass around if you don't do what I tell you. I'm crazy. Ooh, yeah, crazy, crazy. In the morning, get up. You have your shower time. And let me tell you, if you drop that soap, it sucks because the floor is nasty. And now your soap is covered in nasty. <coughs> <coughs> I was so parched. Mm. I don't really like standing back here though because I feel like I'm so far away from them. Key takeaway, listen to your mother, your father, your grandmother. And if you find yourself in here, better know you about to get that ass turned around. Huh? Hey there, it's Dustin, how you going? Well, this morning started off pretty all right. You know, I was super excited to be going back to school finally get out of my house. You know, I was so excited. I didn't even let it bother me when my mum was like, Dustin, you better have a green smoothie before you go to school. You know, stay regular so your brain absorbs more information. I was like, yeah, okay, mum. And, and then I went to Mickey D's. I met up with my mates. You know, we had some big brekkie burgers. God, it was so good to just hang out and like not have to deal with like matching family face masks. Anyway, then I saw my girlfriend, Marissa. I was like, oh God, I'm so excited, imagining the pashing, you know, so great. But then she she wanted to stay apart, like she didn't want us to kiss. I was like, Marissa, I mean, I'm not sick. She said, how do you know? I said, because I've been tested, you know, they stuck a stick up my nose and I, you'll probably still see the prick. And I showed her and she's like, no, Dustin, I'm not going to look up your nose. I was like, listen, Marissa. You're the only girl I've swapped spit with, the only girl I want to swap spit with. And like, you know, I think it's safe for us to swap spit. She's like, 
Dustin, that is so unromantic. Why can't you be more like Noah Calhoun? I was like, who's that? Some up and coming Aussie rules football player that I don't know about? She said, no, it's the guy from The Notebook, you know, Ryan Gosling. I was like, The Notebook? Like, what kind of a name is that for a film? Is it like about people taking notes in class or what makes The Notebook so special? Is it spiral bound? (laughs) And she did not find that funny and she said, Dustin, you're impossible. And then she stormed off. So it's like first day of school. So excited to see her. And I'm in a major relationship crisis. God, sucks, sucks so hard. So then I was like, okay, I better apologize. So I was in maths class and I texted her, capital S-R-Y, and then I saw she read it, but no reply. So like 11 minutes later, I sent her this gif that I found, you know, it was from the notebook. It's like the, the kiss in the rain or something. And I thought it was romantic because, you know, like I Googled it. So it took some effort and I sent it to her and then she just like used that non-response, that like exclamation mark reaction. I'm like, is that positive or negative? I don't know. And then she said, you know what, Dustin, let's talk after class. I was like, yeah, great, let's talk. So then, like, she said, we've grown apart. And I, I said, yeah, literally, we've had to be apart. Everyone has to be two metres apart, you know, so it makes sense. But we can regain the ground. And then she was like, no, Dustin, I, I just feel that it's better for us to be on a break. Actually, break up. Oh, my God. So I'm being dumped. On the first day back, God, it sucks. Sucks so hard. I mean, I know I'm not as hot as a Hemsworth, but I know that I'm a catch. And then my baby sister, Celia, was like teasing me about it later because she heard from Marissa's little brother. God. And then I said, you know what, Celia? Maybe you wouldn't be teasing me if you knew what it was like to have your heart smashed to smithereens. And then my mum said, oh, Dustin, come on. You know, let's just watch a flick or something. Like, I don't know, mum. I don't think that I want to watch You've Got Mail for the five millionth time. God, it sucks. It sucks so hard. Thank you so much for watching tonight's episode of The Homemade Sketch Show. We are here every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Time with brand new sketches, new guests, and new funny. Subscribe to our YouTube page, join our watch party on Facebook, and check out sketches on our Instagram. Like, subscribe, comment, share, show us some love during this very crazy time and keep the laughter going. Oh, and if you like what you saw, donate to platformgroup.org backslash donate. The link's below. The platform group is fiscally sponsored and all donations are tax deductible. There's no better time than now to start supporting the arts and all proceeds go to tonight's creators. And all donations and all amounts are not only accepted, but they're appreciated. Thank you for watching tonight's episode of The Homemade Sketch Show. I'm April Brooker. Have a good night.